The search is still on for the missing Titanic tourist submersible carrying five passengers. Ocean Gate's Titan vessel went missing less than two hours into its mission to reach the Titanic shipwreck on June the 18th. But just how far down is the Titanic wreck and what are the conditions like down there? The wreckage was first discovered in 1985, 73 years after it hit an iceberg on its maiden voyage from Southampton to New York in 1912. It now lies almost 12,500 feet, or 3.8 kilometers, below the waves, around 400 miles southeast of the Newfoundland coast. To put the depth into perspective, that's 10 times the height of the Empire State Building and more than double the depth of the Grand Canyon. Sunlight doesn't penetrate much deeper than about 1,000 meters from the surface, so everything beyond that point is in total darkness. The Titanic lies within a region known as the Midnight Zone, and previous expeditions to the wreck site have described descending for more than two hours with no light before suddenly reaching the ocean floor. There's also extremely high pressures to contend with. The deeper an object travels in the ocean, the greater the pressure of the water around it. So if the submersible has reached the Titanic wreck, it will be under pressures of around 400 atmospheres. That's about the same as having 35 elephants on your shoulders. The Titan has a four day emergency oxygen supply and there are approximately 24 hours worth left. Search and rescue efforts are currently ongoing.